Are you struggling with the CPA exam because your course failed to fit your learning style? I'm Darius Clark of I-75 CPA Review, where the right teacher makes all the difference. Okay, here's a sim on U.S. source versus foreign source income. And if you get a question on multi-jurisdictional tax, it might look a lot like this. Taxpayer Troy, a U.S. citizen and legal resident, has the following income in the current year. Determine whether each item represents U.S. source income or foreign source income. Number one, Troy works for a U.S. firm and earns wages of $75,000 while working in Egypt for three months. Now, is that U.S. source income or is that foreign source income? And the answer is foreign source income. Why? Well, earned income is foreign source if earned in a foreign country and U.S. source if earned domestically. So with earned income, it depends where it's earned. So since it was earned in Egypt, all 75,000 is foreign source income. Even though Troy's only working in Egypt for three months, it says, and even though he works for a U.S. firm, earned income is taxed depending where it's earned. So these wages were earned in Egypt, therefore it's foreign source income. How do you know something's earned income? If it's wages, it's earned income. If it's employee benefits, it's earned income. If it's Schedule C income, earned on a 1099 miscellaneous or a 1099 NEC. NEC stands for non-employee compensation. Any of that would be earned income. And with earned income, it's taxed based on where it's earned. All right, same facts. Let's read those facts again. Taxpayer Troy, a U.S. citizen and legal resident, has the following income in the current year. Determine whether each item represents U.S. source income or foreign source income. Let's look at number two. While working in Egypt for three months, Troy bought a car and now is getting ready to leave Egypt and return home to the U.S. So he sells his car to an Egyptian resident, earning a total gain on sale of $1,200. And the exam is going to ask you about that gain on sale. Is that U.S. source income or foreign source income? And that's U.S. source income. Why? Income from the sale of personal property is determined based on the legal residence of the seller. Since Troy is a U.S. resident, only U.S. tax is going to be paid on that $1,200 gain. So what did we learn so far? Troy's in Egypt for three months while he earned wages there. That was foreign source income because earned income is taxed based on where it's earned. But if he sells his car there, the gain on that sale of personal property is determined based on the legal residence of the seller. In this case, Troy is a U.S. resident and that would matter and he would pay only U.S. tax on the gain on sale of personal property. Because when it comes to the sale of personal property, Look to the legal residence of the seller. All right, same facts for number three. Taxpayer Troy, a U.S. citizen and legal resident, has the following income in the current year. Let's look at three. While working in Egypt for three months, Troy's getting ready to leave Egypt and return to the U.S., so he sells his laptop computer to his roommate Mohammed, a Saudi Arabian resident, also working in Egypt, earning a total gain on sale of $400. Is the sale of that laptop U.S. source income or is it foreign source income? Well, since it's income from the sale of personal property, it's determined based on the legal residence of the seller. And since Troy's a U.S. resident, only U.S. tax is going to be paid on that $400 gain. So number three was just like number two, because with personal property, it depends on the legal residence of the seller, not where the seller happens to be at the time of the sale or where the buyer happens to be from or where the buyer happens to be at the time of the sale. Number four now, same facts. Troy's a US citizen and legal resident has the following income. While working in Egypt for three months, Troy earns employee fringe benefits of $7,000. What do you remember about employee fringe benefits? Well, it's just like wages. What do you remember about wages? That's earned income. What do you remember about earned income? Earned income is foreign source if earned in a foreign country. So employee fringe benefits must be foreign source because they're considered earned income and these benefits were earned while working in Egypt. 
So W-2 income, employee benefits, that's earned income. And earned income is foreign source if earned in a foreign country. So the answer to number four, of course, is foreign source. Same facts for five. Taxpayer Troy, a U.S. citizen and legal resident, has the following income in the current year. And it says, while living in the United States, so now he's not in Egypt, he's living in the U.S., Troy sells his Tesla Model 3 located in the U.S., but he sells it to a resident of England and earns a profit of $4,000. The buyer then ships the car to England. And that's U.S. source income. Why? Because it's income from the sale of personal property. And that's based on the legal residence of the seller. Since Troy is a U.S. resident, the sale of the Tesla results in U.S. source income, even though the buyer is from England and is going to eventually take the car to England. So when it comes to personal property, the legal residence of the seller determines, in this case, that it's U.S. source income. All right, same facts. Taxpayer Troy, a U.S. citizen and legal resident, has the following income in the current year. Number six, while living in the U.S., Troy sells land located in Germany to Edward, a U.S. resident. So the big difference here is what's being sold is real estate, real property, not personal property. We know with personal property, it was based on the legal residence of the seller. Is that going to be the same for real estate? Because Troy is a legal resident of the U.S., but the land is located in Germany. So how do the rules apply when you're selling real estate? Well, income from the sale of real estate is based on the location of the real estate, not based on the legal residence of the seller. So even though Troy sold the land while living in the U.S. to a U.S. citizen, the income is foreign source because when it comes to real estate, it's all about location. So note the difference between the sale of real property, which is based on location of the real property, and personal property, which is based on the legal residence of the seller. Because we're always trying to anticipate the next question. That's the I-75 difference. So you might have been wondering after we did two questions on the sale of personal property, hey, would it be any different if they sold real estate? And now you know, big difference. And I could see the exam asking you exactly that kind of question. Why wouldn't they? It's one of those things where you either know it or you don't. You can't eliminate wrong answer choices. You just have to know the rule that real estate is based on location of the property. So for number six, the answer is foreign source income. Why? Because the real estate's located in Germany. Number seven now, while living in the U.S., Troy had gambling winnings of $5,000 collected from a Super Bowl wager with a resident of Japan. And the answer is foreign source income. Why? Because gambling winnings is considered unearned income. And unearned income is foreign source if received from a foreign resident or a foreign payer. So because Troy's getting paid from a Japanese guy, that's where the gambling winnings is coming from, Japan, then it's foreign source income. Number eight, Troy owns an apartment building in the country of Colombia and received 15000 in rent income while living in the United States. Is this U.S. source income or foreign source income? And if you think you know, leave me your answer in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it helps the channel out a lot. And if you need more help with multi-jurisdictional tax or any part of the CPA reg exam, go to cpaexamtutoring.com and get yourself on I-75 where the right teacher makes all the difference.